have the uh, delightful pleasure of talking with uh, two young gentlemen from Verona, no, Milan. <laughs> yeah, both Verona and Milan and something in Venice, near Venice. So. With, with, a, with a little reference to Shakespeare here, um, <laughs> uh, in Italy, uh, they are uh, to uh, what would be uh, uh, my left, we have Luca Stracera, and uh, on my right, then we have uh, Giovanni Ali. And these yes. gentlemen are with a company called, is it Zeus? Is that how you pronounce it? Or Zoo House? Zeus, like the god. Okay, Zeus, Zeus, okay. Zeus like the god. Okay. Yeah. And, and they are one of a what appears to be an emerging blossoming of companies that are developing uh, electric drives for bicycles. Yeah. But that don't require them to be plugged into the grid, which is uh, kind of a new phenomenon that uh, new technology is emerging. So um, you guys have been at this now, I know, at least a year because Giovanni and I spoke uh, about a year ago now. They, yeah. now have, they now have product on the market and uh, we're going to talk about it. So, uh, buongiorno, gentlemen. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> Well, thankfully, you speak very good English because I do not speak Italian beyond the <laughs> jar. Uh, Thank you. We, we, we're going to try to uh, do our best. So. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, look, let's talk about, first of all, um, the, the, what you've done is you have developed, uh, like a number of other companies, you've developed an electric motor system that is not just the motor, but it's also the battery encased in what, we're, in what a term is being called now an all-in-one or yeah. a a uh, let's see a i o uh, uh, all in the wheel a i right. w right motor in the wheel technology uh, yeah. so let's so let's talk about what what's the origin of this when did you guys get started with uh, with so, the project there are there are two two points of start of our project the first point is the the point where bike plus project started and it's back in 2011 with the University of Milano Politecnico. So Bike Plus project aimed to, to try to construct some algorithms and to build some algorithms to make our body uh, to interact better with the electric motor. So to gain some efficiency and so to reduce some, and that, that is reducing our effort in pedaling in bikes using just our energy. So something similar to the Toyota Prius concept in car. So Toyota Prius uses just the energy of the internal combustion engine, but it enhances the efficiency of the internal combustion engine, so the, the overall consumption is lower. We did that starting some research with the university, uh, and started, started some resources so with, uh, with other companies uh, and uh, one of these companies is Mapei Sport which is a, a sport training center for professional cyclists based in, in, here in Italy, it's pretty famous and uh, we started uh, studying our body as an engine and we started, we started to study how to make our engine which is my legs interact uh, with the electric motor and that's the first project so that's the project of the algorithm okay. and it took a lot of time to turn up this algorithm such we can say our bike does not have to be plugged in the grid but it can make you save up to 30 percent of the op oxygen so that's great because if you if you are talking about a commuter and you're talking about some bike sharing initiatives or even a normal bike and you can you can tell him without knowing that your bike is electric so you don't have to care about recharging the batteries or right. other things you you take just this bike which is regular and you save the 30 percent of oxygen as it was like magic so but it's not magic it's highly scientific scientific so we we published uh, uh, some uh, some uh, some papers uh, to conferences and we have some results which are scientific results and so this is a really really strong base to develop a product and that's the second point of start in April this year we started this company and we started producing we started developing this product and we adopted a 
the all in one the all in one technology because that's the the more compact and that's the more i i think the 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 the, the one that now is going to break into the market really really quick because it's very very easy to mount bicycles city bicycles are not are not intended to be like race bikes so the the, the overall speed are not, is not so high so it's not a problem to have a bigger wheel while it would be in road bicycles for instance or in mountain bikes now we are addressing the city bike market because the city bike market is the one in which the algorithm that we design is working better okay. so Regarding the all in the wheel system, we started back in April in designing this all in the this compact all in the wheel system, like other people did before us, like Copenhagen Wheel, for instance. The Copenhagen Wheel project started in 2009, and they started uh, trying to put everything in one rear wheel, the red one, the big red one, right. and uh, then, then for instance, there was. Uh, a Taiwanese, uh, which was a wheel with inside uh, a motor and the batteries, but not the controller. But before all of the all of these, uh, I think some prototypes from Toyota were made, and also a lot of a lot of products from the, for instance, the electric wheelchair were all in wheels. So the all in the wheel concept is not strictly a new concept on the market, okay. because uh, if you take, for instance. For instance, the electric wheelchair market. Uh, there are a lot of uh, all-in-the-wheel solution for that one. That you uh, just uh, plug, just, you just take the wheel and uh, you adopt your wheelchair to be an electric wheelchair. Wow, okay. uh, so the patents uh, that are on this particular concept uh, are most of them are in this field. So the electric wheelchair. We took uh, like the idea and. Uh, because, because we think that uh, the, our asset is the battery pack that is very small, is smaller than the other than the other uh, solutions. Because we have a smart uh, regeneration with our with our legs, and we, we do like uh, the 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 so called uh, charge sustaining. It's it's called charge sustaining in in hybrid vehicles. So, uh, as the Toyota Prius, we have a charge sustaining algorithm. In okay. our case. That is tuned on our body and on, and not of course on the internal combustion engine because we don't have one, but we are same as an internal combustion engine. So we measure from our sensor, we measure our effort, and we measure how we are pedaling. And starting from that, we we we, this, we no we 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 ask the bike to generate energy from our legs or to give to us energy okay, okay. Right. so our body is like uh, like i said is like a motor so when for instance when we start when you do a lot of effort when you go uphill your efficiency is low because you are using your burning a lot of oxygen in order to make not a lot of energy but when you're running on a flat or when you're running really relaxed your pedaling is smoother and your body is more efficient so your efficiency gap your efficiency gap is up to uh, it can be up to 20 25 percent the gap so you start from 30 percent of the, your optimal optimal uh, efficiency. efficiency and you drop to eight five percent when you are not efficient so if you are able to discover these phases and you're able to ask the motor to help you when you are very low efficiency and to recover energy when you are really high efficiency you can save oxygen even without giving energy to the grid or asking energy from the grid so you can balance the state of charge you can shave the peaks of fatigue of the of the uh, of the cyclist and that that yields to a very very uh, impressive energy saving okay 30 percent for free is is impressive yeah thing. well let's i know you've got um uh, luca maybe you can take and uh, show us one of the wheels i know you've got one behind yeah, you there we have yeah we let's, have one. let's yeah let's this see what is it looks already like. mounted. this is a 28 uh, inches yeah wheel okay and 
So this is a, an, a, a prototype because it's dark colored uh, and the aluminum is simply worse. This one is one of the first prototypes that we have in the lab, so we take it like as a, a museum. Yeah, and, right. uh, but it's fully working uh, though. If you turn it on, there's automatic turn, turn on and turn off, then you can, you can ride it with no problem. So this is the free wheel system, already yeah. embedded in the, the wheel. We have uh, uh, sensors in here to measure the speed of the of the pedals and to measure the effort. Right. Right. So the, 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 the wheel is uh, it's already able to um, understand if you are pedaling or not. And by this, uh, it, and it out, turns and on and off yes. automatically. So, so this is so the, the width of the entire system. Yeah, I was going to say, so inside of that wheel or inside of yeah. that motor, you've got a motor. You now got, I will show you this. Yeah, you've because got. I, I assume. Samples. I assume you have gearing. So we have some motor. We have the motor, which is a, a standard motor, a geared motor, and we have the batteries. Okay. And we have all the electronic that controls the motor. So right. the motor is very compact and it's very light because we are not asking a lot of power, a peak power, but we are asking uh, to uh, to to the motor to keep on going and regenerating okay. and uh, so that uh, it has to be an efficient motor and a lightweight motor because we we want the our system is the lightest right. okay. and so our motor our core motor is just 1.1 kilo okay and we have the electronics that control the motor which is developed by us and all the control system is developed by us so we we, we take this motor, we buy this motor from our supplier and then we, we characterize the motor and we control the motor in an optimal way so we can gain the efficiency to the, the, of the motor up to 90% okay. which the original one was like 71 and we boosted up to 90 so it was a great great advantage with respect to the other guys that are using the same motor. Right. Well, let's can we let's let's talk about that. So, how yeah. is your motor different from, for example, the much larger Copenhagen wheel and uh, Flycly and you know other com bikes uh, that are you know motors that are out there? How is it? How is it different? So, first of all, uh, for instance, Copenhagen wheel has not released uh, information on the motor yet, like just the power. Uh, I can tell that probably they're using uh, probably they're using a, a motor which is similar to our now because it's the system is light is about five kilograms okay. and uh, uh, Flycly is a bit uh, they, they they have a patent on a motor which is a, a property patent so they can just they they, they, they just uh, build this motor. I think that the, the, the motor, the patent is from Slovenia, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, they build up their own motor and uh, their own motor is bigger and the whole wheel is claimed to, to, to weight about uh, five, six kilos too. Okay. So there are, th these are different approaches. One uh, is to buy an existing motor and to control the existing motor better. Right. The other one is to build their own motor. Of course, if you build your own motor, you can decide everything. Right. But uh, when you buy a motor from a supplier, you can ask the supplier to do what you need if right. you buy a lot of, the, of right. those. So what, what, what we, was, yeah, what was the weight of your motor? Our core motor is 1.1 kilo. The oh, okay. whole wheel with the batteries weights less than three kilos. Okay, all right. So. Okay. We are we are lighter than uh, than the others, and we decided to use this compact motor, which is a geared motor, just because we need to be light in order to to not to not to increase a lot the weight of the bike. Our bike is a bike; it's not an e-bike. It's right. well, let's say it's a bike plus. It's in between right. the pedelec, the e-bike, and the, the standard bike. Right. So well, also for the weight, the added weight should be. Very, very, very little. Also driving our also bike driving, yeah. with our system mounted on the real wheel, uh, 
it behaves like a normal bike, so you don't feel uh, anything more weight uh, from the bike because you handle it uh, like yeah. a normal bike. So yeah, like, moreover, the spinning mass is very, very low because the spinning mass in our design is just the aluminum outside. And so the spinning mass is like b below one kilo. That's on a standard bike, the, the hub can weight like 300, 400 grams. Right. So the spinning mass is very similar. Okay. So you don't feel dif any difference if you take our bike, you take the smartphone, you turn our bike off intentionally, and you drive our bike with no assistance at all, it feels like a normal bike. Okay. Also dynamically is a normal bike. Right. Then when you turn it on, you have the bike plus mode. So for instance, uh, you can think about the electron wheel, which has the system on the, the front, front wheel. wheel. Yes, we, we tried it uh, and uh, with the 10 kilos weight uh, you feel on the, on the handlebar a, a, very, a very strange feeling because the bike is very weight to, to ride. So it's, it's, it's very heavy and when you, when you try to turn it's under steering because it's too much weight on the front ah, wheel. Okay. All right. So it's not necessarily a bad thing to have an under steering bike but I prefer to have a standard bike. like because our system is intending to, to be like something in between a pedelec and, and an e-bike, okay. a pedelec and a standard bike. So.